Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you the secret to taking faster notes at university. So I hope this helps you with your own note taking so that you can apply this to your studies and your life. This can also be applied to any form of digital note taking that you're doing. You don't have to be a student for this to be applied, but as I'm still a student, I thought I would just share it with you how I use it as a student. The basis of this trick, this secret of taking really fast notes is to utilize templates and keyboard shortcuts. The apps that we're going to be applying this trick to is going to be Notion which is my favorite one and you'll see why because there's a lot that you can do in Notion so let's dive into how I take faster notes using it so we're now in Notion and as you can see on the screen right now we have my university notes database thing that I use to take all my notes for university here like the class name the type of class it is so if it's a lecture seminar workshop pre-recorded lecture and so on then we have when it was created before I had like I would put in a date manually so I put like the date of the class but then I just like you know what let me just put the when it was created gets rid of the friction, makes it easier. At the end of the day, we will not optimize for taking notes as fast as we can. And we're gonna get into the templates on here in a second, which are the groundbreaking stuff. And we have the lecturer and then the class. And before we actually dive into the templates, I'm gonna show you the different views that I have. So as you can see here, it says all notes right here. And if we click here, um, I have different views for different modules. So these are my three modules this semester. And so if we go into the, let's go into the marketing one. So we can see here, we have the class names, we have the type of class is, as you can see here, a lot of lectures, not as many seminars. Um, when it was created, the lecturer and the class. And so if I have a marketing one, I go here so and find one much easier instead of going into the all notes section. And I've color coded it. So like all the hot HRM, so human resource management, all of those, like the, all of these bits about the lecturer and the class are in red, information systems, orange, um, marketing, blue. Pretty simple. Right here, we have like a sort and a filter. We've got sorting. So we're sorting by the date created and the class name and we're also filtering in the different views so for information systems we filter where the class is information systems and same for the, like the other one so in marketing the filter where the class is marketing so we can just easily see the difference sometimes it's kind of confusing where you see all these notes all these things if i know i have a human resource management class i'll go into that click new okay boom that's already there just click i'll click that that's really populated there's no friction i think it started straight on the work that I need to do. So normally say you have like your file explorer, we have all your folders and you have like all your documents in here. This, is, I, I still have that for my classes, but I don't write the notes from classes in like Word documents on there. I write them all in here. So the things I save on my hard drive on my computer and Google Drive is gonna be things such as the, the PowerPoint slides and the brief for coursework and that kind of stuff. So we have all these notes section. And then if you open one, for example, let's take um, this lecture right here. This is lecture six, six for marketing. So I can open that as a page and we can see, boom, once it loads. This is like the title. We've got like a little man running there. I don't know why I just click like, just put an emoji, you can click random or choose one if you want. So I have curated the same things that we saw in the view beforehand. We have the class, who the lecturer is and what type of class it is. So um, here we just have like, I have the process. Like I saw, I have like a three step process that I try to approach when taking my notes. Then I insert a table of contents. You could just go like right there, slash, and write contents. And then you click the table of contents and it will populate this whole table of contents. So then I have all of that so I can jump to different parts. So say I wanted to jump to CRM systems, it's going to boom, jump right down there. And this is a much easier way to just navigate your notes instead of having to scroll. Okay, let me click Control F, search what I'm looking for. I can have everything split into those different sections. So easy to jump between. And um, also, if we're just gonna get into the, like, the note-taking part of this, is it's just a more nicer experience of taking notes. Like if I wanna make a new heading, say I want a heading two, I can just click hashtag, hashtag, and it's gonna create a heading two, and I can just write it intro, or I don't know, whatever. It's just those kind of things that make it much easier. Instead of like in Word, you're gonna have to like go to the heading, click it, and then do that. It's just like learning the keyboard shortcuts for the apps you're using save you so much more time in the long run. I use these like little quote things for when putting in quotes and sometimes just to break up the text. So like I just click slash quote and it gives like this little little quote thing where you can just type in a quote. It just, it's just a nice thing to break up the text instead of having everything the same. So bullet point, you just click this little dash and it'll turn it into a bullet point or asterisk space, turn it into a bullet point. I can put in pictures here, change the size of where, how big I want the picture to be. I can make it smaller, bigger. It's really easy because I like, with Word or PowerPoint, it's not as fluid like this. There is so much custom stuff that you can do in Notion. Also just being able to change the color of something. Say like, I like to make things that I really want to stand out, I'll put them in red. There's a shortcut, Control Shift H, because I use red most of the time as the thing that I highlight. That that shortcut 
you're just going to highlight it red and then I click Control B to make it bold. You just highlight something like that and you see, okay, you can bold, but Control B, Control I, Control U, and I can strike it through, Control Shift S. I can leave a comment, I can just put whatever I want in there. I can link to a different website. If I scroll down to a YouTube video, so right here, this has created a bookmark to a video. So if I click on it, it's going to take me straight to the video on YouTube. It is, and it's more visual. It's more visual than just than having a link on a Google Docs. So you can see it. It stands out more. I could even take this link right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to embed it. So I can I can paste it here. I can click embed video. So now I can actually play this video and see it inside of Notion without even having to go to the internet. One reason that's good because it just makes things quicker. Two. You might not get distracted by suggested videos and notifications on YouTube because you're actually you're not leaving, you're not taking up, you're staying in inside it, you're not getting distracted by the internet. Okay, let's get into the templates. I'm gonna show you the templates that I now use for this. Also, I will leave a link in the description to the Notion keyboard shortcuts. I'm trying to learn them so I can get faster and taking notes in Notion. There's some as you can see I showed that AI note that I've learned, but yeah, there's a Notion page by Notion that has all the shortcuts on how to use it. If you're using Notion, want to learn how to about to use Notion. You want to have to do it quicker because the save time in the long run. So right here, I have some templates and I have so information systems, marketing, HR. And I'll show you why I have one for each class. So if we go here, I'm going to click new. I'm going to open this up. So it's all empty at the moment. And let's say I have um, a marketing class again. So I open it up. Boom. It's already said what class it is. It's marketing. In my template that I created, which I'll show you how to how you create in a second, is that I put, okay, this is my process for each class. Here's already the table of contents. Here is the heading. Here's the learning objectives. And here's the next heading. That thing, which might only take 30 seconds to put in each time, where I could copy and paste from a previous document, is already done. It's already there for me. This is already there. Sometimes the lecturers depend. So I don't know. It depends on who I have. So I don't have a certain one in there. So just click that. Say it's that lecturer. And it could be a seminar or a lecture or whatever. So I'll just say this is a lecture. So I click that. Those two things. I'll just do that manually. And here, which for the name, say it's a lecture seven, for example. And then whatever it is, we'd write the name in here. So once I've taken the notes from the slides beforehand, and I've written all my notes here, whatever the class is, and then we, I write all the learning objectives, and then I put the subheadings here, and then I just write all my notes, and I have bullet points, and type in stuff, and then, oh, look, another double heading, boom, right there, so quick. And just having that, having those things that will speed up the process just makes things a bit easier. At the end of the day, I want to optimize to taking my notes, doing my uni work as quick as I can, so I can also focus on other things that I'm passionate about, because I don't want to be just spending time doing this because there's other stuff that I'm quite interested in, so I, I want to kind of optimize the process that I'm using to take notes from classes, that kind of stuff. Also, a really cool feature in Notion is that I can link between different pages. So if I want to say, okay, something that was mentioned in this lecture is really interesting for my coursework. So I'm going to go link to a page, and I'm going to put uh, marketing, summative that's maybe what i called it i can't remember have to see if it doesn't come up there you go boom link to that and then oh look it's, it's jumping straight to the summative advice for lecture so i can click on that it's opened the page and i've seen all these things that have gone there and then i can oh there's the backlinks i can now jump straight back there and see and it's jumped to the exact position so say my notes were here that simple. But that kind of stuff in note taking apps like Notion that you can't get in tools like Google Docs or Word or anything like that. And that's why I think it's so powerful. And while I say just try these apps because it's gonna it's gonna just change everything for you. Because like I've never used anything like this. And as soon as I started using this uh, over like one and a half years ago, it completely changed the game for so many different aspects of my life. The way I organize things from like this YouTube channel to my university notes to my personal life to the things I'm tracking, other, the projects that I'm working on. There's so many things that I use it for. It's crazy. I'll leave a link to the, in the description to the other Notion videos that I've created. Created quite a few. Um, yeah, definitely check them out if you want to learn more about Notion. Uh, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you how I create a template. So I'm going to, so we're going to just open this page. And I'm going to create new template. We call this example. So we're going to say this is for information systems, and uh, we leave them to empty. And what we're going to put in here. So we're going to go here. Um, we're going to just open this other template that we have. Just copy this process bit, but I'm going to do the other bits manually. We've got that process. You don't have to write it. It's right there. We know what to do. So let's say heading. Just click that. It's going to come up quickly. And we can leave that there for the heading of the lecture. And then we can put here learning objectives. Because that usually comes up in the majority of lectures before. Either like summarizing what we're going to do or learning objectives. So I just change it accordingly. And then we leave that there. And in here, I'll just put heading two. 
just giving me a basic structure to jump straight in when I start taking my notes. And then I'll just go straight into taking my notes. And then once I go here and I want to create um, a new page, I can even just click this new button here. Click um, click whichever one, we'll click the one that we just made. And it's just populating that straight away. And I think it's just so awesome. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell to see more videos. Also, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of the videos on the screen right now. So feel free to check them out if that's something you're interested in. Otherwise, I'll see you guys very soon.